Good morning, students. Today we're going to learn about insects and their life cycles. So we're going to watch a small egg become a larva, then a pupa, then an adult. Are you ready? Here we go. Insects are everywhere. Look around you. We have a funny story about this. My daughter's friend Trinity came from Alaska just this past week. And the first stop they made was to Lady Bird Lake in Austin, Texas. And as they were sitting there looking at the lake and walking around, Trinity said, what's all that noise? Now, when you think of Alaska, you might think of this. This is myself in front of Portage Glacier, and I'm standing on a frozen lake. But it doesn't always look like that. Sometimes it's very, very green, especially during the summer months when the sun is out for a long, long time. So they do have insects, but they don't have as many as we do here in Bastrop, Texas. As you can imagine, and as you can listen in just a few seconds, you will see how many insects that Austin, Texas has. Are you ready? Okay, listen. That's a lot of insects. But no matter where you are, whether you're in Alaska or whether you're in Texas, you are going to find insects all around you. So let's talk about their life cycles. Complete metamorphosis. First off, if an insect is going through complete metamorphosis, they start as an egg. That egg turns into a larva. The larva turns into a pupa. And then in the final stage, the pupa becomes an adult. Adults lay the eggs and the life cycle starts all over. Complete metamorphosis, larva. The larva stage, it grows and stores up energy needed for the next developmental stage, the pupa, by eating large quantities of food. The larva's main goal is to eat, eat, eat. In the pupa stage, it forms a harder outer shell for protection. The insect will remain as still as possible in order to use its energy toward the transformation process into an adult. And then the adult stage no longer grows in size, but it focuses its energy on gathering food and reproduction to start the process all over again. Incomplete metamorphosis. Insects that life cycles undergo incomplete metamorphosis have three life cycles, egg, nymph, and adult. The nymph stage closely resembles the adult. They lack wings and have a smaller size. Nymphs shed their exoskeletons as they grow. And then the adult phase. Adult insects focus their energy on survival and protection. So they can then lay eggs and start the life cycle process again for the next generation of crickets in this case. Complete metamorphosis, incomplete metamorphosis. Let's look at how they're different and what they have in common. Complete metamorphosis. There's four stages, egg, larva, pupa, adult, the pupa is called a chrysalis or cocoon. The larva look different from the adult. Examples of insects that complete a complete metamorphosis are butterflies, moths, and bees. Incomplete metamorphosis. There's three stages, egg, nymph, adult. Nymphs look like wingless adults. Examples of insects that go through incomplete metamorphosis are grasshoppers, praying mantis, and cockroaches. But both have egg and adult stages. The adults usually have wings and all insects have a life cycle. Which life cycle does this insect experience? Complete metamorphosis or incomplete metamorphosis? Let's see if you know. Here we go, are you ready? The first insect is the fly. There's a hint on the bottom left-hand corner. If you said complete metamorphosis, you are correct. What about a grasshopper? I think we might have seen a picture of this not too long ago. Does a grasshopper go through complete 
or incomplete metamorphosis. Hmm. I don't see a larva stage in there or any type of chrysalis or cocoon. Hmm, I think I know. If you said incomplete metamorphosis, you are correct. What about a beetle? Hmm, complete or incomplete metamorphosis? If you said complete metamorphosis, you are correct. The next insect is a ladybug. Larva, pupa, adult, eggs. Hmm, I think I know. If you said complete metamorphosis, you are correct. What about a dragonfly? A dragonfly is the state insect of Alaska, if you didn't know that before. Dragonfly, hmm. Complete or incomplete metamorphosis? If you said incomplete metamorphosis, you are correct. The next one is the butterfly. Complete or incomplete metamorphosis? If you said complete metamorphosis, you are correct. Great job. What about a cockroach? Hmm, I see an egg and I see a nymph. I think I know what it is. Do you? Correct, incomplete, metamorphosis. Great job. A walking stick. That's a cute little baby walking stick. Hmm, complete or incomplete metamorphosis? If you said incomplete metamorphosis, you are correct. This little walking stick goes through the nymph stage. Now an ant. Hmm, an ant. What would that be? Egg, larva, pupa, adult. I know what this is. Did you say complete metamorphosis? If you did, you are correct. Great job. Now a bee. Hmm, a bee. Is that incomplete or complete metamorphosis? Do I see a chrysalis? Hmm, do I see a nymph stage? I think I know, do you? Yes, complete metamorphosis. You are correct. You did an awesome job today, and I know that you know the difference between complete and incomplete metamorphosis. Thanks for joining me today. Until next time.